there guys welcome back to all things apple plus what an amazing year that it has been so far i am so excited to get into these next couple of reviews and uh i'm just i'm just so so excited to see what 2019 has in store but if you haven't already check me out on all my different social media platforms on youtube twitter on instagram please check me out there follow leave a like comment subscribe all the above if you haven't, especially check me out on, on YouTube, subscribe, hit that subscribe button and that bell for post notifications. But we're going to be talking about something today about Siri shortcuts, something that I should have been using for a long, long time and I haven't been. And I hope that you guys check this out too, because this is probably one of the coolest apps that I've, that I've come to realize that I've needed in my life. And I don't know why the heck I haven't been uh, a user of this application but it's it's time we need to get into it but let's go ahead and start by going into app the app store actually and we're going to look up siri shortcuts and we're going to get into the nitty-gritty of what siri shortcuts is i uh i gotta admit the the first time i downloaded this and i tried this one out i gotta admit it was a little bit confusing at first but i hope that through my tutorial you guys will find some sort of clarity through it but we're gonna go ahead and set that on our front home page because yes we are gonna be using this guy a lot okay so coming into Siri shortcuts what Siri shortcuts allows you to do is kind of just bypass a lot of app skipping a lot of app jumping around and it allows you to do what you need to do really fast and just at, and just very simple and one of the cool things about Siri shortcuts is that you can actually add these different shortcuts to your notifications pane so if you scroll to the left you can see all the different notifications that you have maybe for news stocks or for what have you and you can add Siri shortcuts like I'm showing you guys right here to your list of notifications here and it'll populate let me go ahead and scroll to the top right there by the Siri shortcut suggestions so it shows that uh, we finally added this to our little uh, notifications page and then immediately any shortcut that you may have set will populate on that page as well too but let's go ahead and actually jump back into Siri shortcuts and I'm gonna show you guys where you'll need to navigate if you want to make your own Siri shortcut now hitting that plus button at the top right corner or hitting the plus button uh, shortcut will bring you to this page where you can choose a different list of abilities and options that you can choose from on your device to create your shortcut now this is something that for me I'll be quite honest with you guys I haven't really checked out myself I'm still learning this on the fly right now and it is uh, for right now it is a little bit confusing and I'm still trying to figure out and kind of mess around with these different series shortcuts and you can try that yourself see if you you know if you find something that works for you but for the meantime at the moment I'm actually going to choose from Apple's gallery of Siri shortcuts and you can even find Siri shortcuts through reddit or through different websites There's not just the ones in the gallery that you need to choose from but you can choose other different Siri shortcuts in a later video I'll go ahead and post how to do that But for the meantime right now We're gonna I'm gonna show you guys the gallery and that you can choose and make your own Siri or and, and populate your own Siri shortcut with ease so this one is showing you how to navigate to home from work so or from anywhere that you're at so if you need to you know find an ETA to how long it's gonna take for me to get home and to have you know a playlist or uh, anything from your music library you know play while you're driving home you can just tap this one button it's gonna automatically populate the maps page for you and it'll tell your ETA of when you need to go home all you need to do is hit go your playlist will start playing and then you can go from there and navigate back home just with ease without having to jump from app to app to app and it just Siri shortcuts just makes things just a lot easier and I thought at first it was a little redundant I thought like who needs that who needs this sort of shortcut you can just do a simple by going from app to app but no this does it just all in one tap and that's the point in Siri shortcuts is to make your life just a little bit easier and not having to go from one step to the next so check out the gallery that Apple has within Siri shortcuts because they have so many essential Siri shortcuts for you and again you don't have to necessarily use the different shortcuts that you find on the gallery there are plenty of shortcuts that people have created online that you can find and that you can download and add to your Siri shortcuts and it honestly I'll, I'll be posting another video in in just the next couple days of just ways that you can get different features onto your phone without necessarily having to go through Apple's main page but here's also another one speed dial so if you want to you know um, add this shortcut all you need and you want to put somebody on speed dial you can add their number their name 
like I'm gonna add my wife right now to this <laughs> to this shortcut and just like that this the shortcut has been added and all I need to do is if I ever need to get in touch with her or call her real quick swipe over to my notifications page hit the speed dial and I know it's gonna go straight to her and it's gonna automatically call her just like how I'm showing off right here and it's just one of those again Siri shortcuts is just making your life easier on your iDevice that way you're not jumping from app to app not having to punch in like if I had to I would have to go to my phone type in her phone number or look up her contact information but instead I just slide over to the left tap on speed dial and immediately it's calling my wife right then and there so I it's just one of those things that I wish I would have jumped in on earlier but this is a feature an amazing tool that you should that I would recommend to anybody. But I hope you guys did like this little review, this little tutorial on Siri Shortcuts. Please go ahead and check this out. If you guys did like this video, please like, comment, subscribe to all things Apple Plus, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. I cannot wait to show you guys this next one. It's gonna be pretty amazing. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.